So I want to give you some tips and tricks about feeding videos into a Zoom meeting. Now you can always do a desktop share and that can work with computer screens and things but what I find is that with videos it gives a really choppy playback. The only way I could get it to not be a choppy playback was feeding it through a server at like 90 megabits a second upload and that's not a realistic solution. So I want to find a way we can do this on our computer. And one of the ways I found was to feed it through as a virtual web camera through your standard video feed instead of doing a desktop share. Also that avoids expanding everybody's screen to the maximum automatically because it's coming just through your web camera feed. So the way I found to do this on a Mac was to use the Cam Twist software. So the first step is to um, download cam twist and once you have it it's a pretty cool little program it's kinda like OBS the open broadcasting software uh, you can feed uh, video files and all and images and all sorts of things so you could set up your meeting um, pretty nicely and a neat feature it has is uh, the studio so you've got like a preview screen uh, you can cut to that um, and what it does is here's our, our, our monitor what's going out to air you could say and you can choose what you want cut to it um, you can have a song we'll go into the song even do like a countdown timer which is pretty cool well okay let me talk about a few settings that you gotta change on this it's defaulted at like a really low resolution around it, it defaults at 320 by 240 which is kind of fuzzy and not so great so what you have to do is you change it over to like 720 by 1280 which is a nice um, lower high definition uh, resolution um, but I was having a lot of trouble it still wouldn't show up in my virtual camera over here I would I would select the option and it would give me like a, a bars and tone kind of screen you got to close out cam twist you've got to close down zoom you've got to close down Skype anything that's using a web camera it'll make some weird conflict and it won't show up so you have to close it all down start it back all up and then you'll be able to use your new nice high quality resolution uh, okay and what this does once you have this software going all you have to do is just you just pick your cam twist camera and you've got it so for instance maybe we've got some musical preludes for the meeting let's just cut to that and boom it's a little bit hard to show on this screen capture but basically I was having trouble with those screen shares being pretty choppy when I was sharing video so I'm gonna show you a few little more things to do to make sure that the cam twist studio is working um, one thing you need to do is you need to download also another plugin soundflower this allows you to feed the audio from the cam twist software into your mic feed on the zoom application or video chat software so you just have to make sure you pick soundflower basically it's just pulling another another output out of your out of your mac so you can listen to that and it's basically giving you a direct feed another thing you have to be aware of is on zoom and on skype too it will have these noise reduction features that will make videos sound terrible and when you're feeding it through as a virtual web camera it thinks that you're using a simple microphone and so it'll treat it like a voice like a voice from from a person on a web camera and it'll try to reduce noise and it'll make music and everything else sound really bad so what you have to do is you go into these settings here in audio settings and you go to advanced and you click this little box here enable original sound I already had it clicked so you it, it usually is not clicked by default so you gotta click that and that'll bring you a little window here uh, or a little button here that'll always be on your screen and you'll want to turn on original sound when when you're feeding the, the audio through I'll show you I'll show you the difference here Do you hear that noise reduction Sounds really bad. So let's turn on original sound. Let's listen to that. Do you hear it? It's nice and clean. Um, let me, you know what? Let me turn this up just a bit, the volume. Sleep, as 
So this is the original sound. This is this is uh, the better method. This is where it's sending that pure audio through. Noise reduction. So what we did was we used Cam Twist software to be able to mix and match our videos and feed that through as a virtual web camera. We used Soundflower to feed the audio into Zoom. And we turned off those noise reduction settings on Zoom by going into the advanced settings and turning on original audio. So I hope this was useful to you. It was a lot of hours researching all of these things. Uh, give me a comment to let me know how it went for you.